wonderful good morning everyone uh, I welcome you to yet another tutorial in physics uh, which happens to be an introductory to physics the conversion of units okay so to those of you that have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel just make sure that you do subscribe hit the like button and also don't forget to share to others and to those of you that want to know my details this is my whatsapp line so if you have any question you can inbox me on this whatsapp line okay so this is very simple okay this is very simple so even as i get to answer some of these questions you'll be able to learn um something okay so we have conversion of units in physics um the first question is saying in fact, we only have one question, and then we have different other questions just within this same question. This one is saying, convert the following units from, okay, so we are, convert, we are converting units uh, from one particular uh, 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 unit to another. Okay, so A is saying from centimeters to meters. Okay, so I will be doing two two questions, then the other ones you we will be doing them. All right. So let me start with the first one. Saying we convert hundred centimeters into meters. Okay. So A. For A, you know that. One meter is equivalent to one hundred centimeters. Okay. X meters is going to equal to okay, so this is one hundred centimeters. Do this one hundred X equal to one hundred over. Uh, 100 over 100. Therefore, x is going to equal 1.0 meters. We have converted the first question. The second one is saying we convert 50 centimeters into meters. Same concept applies. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters therefore x meters is going to equal to 50 centimeters cross multiply we're going to have 100 uh, meters and then there is an x here equal to okay just remove this then we're going to have a 50 here Divide by 100 and also divide by 100 here. Then automatically, you find my answer to be this and this is wrong. Therefore, our answer will be 0 0.5 meters. Like that. Okay. So this was so simple, right? This was simple. Let's get to the other question. So let me just do this. Okay. Um, the second question is simply saying from meters to kilometers. From meters to kilometers. So this one happens to be our B. Now we are converting from meters to kilometers. What's the conversion factor? What's the conversion factor? So we know that one kilometer is equivalent to thousand meters, right? Like this. Therefore, x is going to equal to twenty-five meters. 
cross multiply we're going to have a 1000 x equal to 25 over 1000 over 1000 therefore x is equal to 25 divided by 1000 we are going to have 0 0.025 All right, so we have converted from meters to kilometers. I think P is quite simple. Let's use the same concept. Okay, this one is two. Use the same concept. So we we'll say one kilometer is equivalent to a thousand meters. Then we say x, 30 meters, cross multiply, we have 1000 x equal to 30, we divide by 1000, 1000, and our final answer is 0 0.0 kilometers. All right, so this is how you do this particular question. Very simple. This one is same from millimeters to kilometers. C. Now, the conversion factor. Since we are converting from millimeters to kilometers, we can, we can use this form. Okay, so we have 90 millimeters, right? So I'm going to take you a step by step so that at least you just know how to go about this question and you'll be able to answer almost all the questions that will be given to you to convert it. Okay. Now, um, we know that 10 millimeters is equivalent to a one centimeter like this. Okay. One centimeter. 90 millimeters will equal to how many centimeters? We have 10 x equal to 90 like this. Okay, 90 like this. We divide by 10. We divide by 10. We are going to have x equal to a 9 centimeter. Now, we know that 100 centimeter is equivalent to one kilometer, so uh, one meter, right? Nine centimeter is equivalent to x. Cross multiplier, we're going to have a hundred x here equal to nine over one hundred over one hundred. Divide by this, we're going to have 0 0.09 meters. Yes. Okay. But then we know that 1 kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. Therefore, we say x equal to and this is going to be 0 0.9 like this cross multiply we have 1000 x equal to 0 0.09 cross we divide by 1000 divide by 1000 like this therefore 0 0.09 um divide by 1000 and our final answer is simply k so this is going to be this is going to be 0 0.00009 0 
kilómetros. Okay, so this is how you do this question. It was quite simple, right? We also have 40 millimeters. So the same concept applies. This one is too long, but you'll be able to practice the remaining questions. So this is quite simple. Very simple. All right. Let's get to do some other questions. Um, we go to D. D is saying from miles per hour to meters per second. From miles per hour to meters per second. All right. So for this one, I really want you to pay attention so you know. So we have 62.6 miles per hour. C, they are saying we convert 62.6 miles per hour. And two, they are saying we convert. 15 mile per hour. So I'm going to do the two. Now, uh, for this question, the only thing that you must know is this. Um, one mile per hour is equivalent to 10 zero 09 meters okay let me just say one mile please okay okay so one mile is equivalent to 16.09 meters. We're supposed to know this conversion unit. Now, we are going to convert 62.6 miles per hour into meters per second. So you are going to put your 62.6 here. Okay, first of all, you forget the hour. Put the mile here. You put x this side. When you cross multiply, you're going to have x equal to 2. This is 62.6 multiplied by 16.09. We are going to have this number. Going to over hour. Now this number, we are going to divide it by the number of seconds. Okay, we will convert this hour into seconds. So we convert the hour into seconds. We are going to have three six zero zero seconds. This is already meters. Therefore, divide by three six zero zero. Our answer will be. 8.0 meters per second. Okay, we get to the other question. One mile is equivalent to sixteen zero nine meters. 50 mile is equal to x. We cross multiply, we are going to have x equal to 16.09 multiplied by 50. And our answer is 84.5 meters per hour. We'll convert the hour into seconds. And it will be 
be 3600 seconds. And our final answer will be, so this will be just a 22 point meters per second. So this is how you do this question. Okay, very simple. So let's get to the other side. So let's solve the other questions. Let's hope it was clear there. So you can do the other questions. I think they'll be able to be easy for you. Let's solve D. Now E E is saying from miles per hour, from miles per hour to kilometer per hour. Now for this one it's very simple because we ju you just need to know the conversion of a, a unit or factor. One mile, this one is just direct, one mile per hour. One mile per hour is equal to 1.609 okay kilometer per hour this one is just direct because we are not dealing with any seconds now since we have been told to convert uh 50 mile to kilometers per, per hour therefore we we'll say one this is our conversion factor so, so one mile per hour equal to 16 to 1.609 kilometer per hour like that then we are going to get our 50 mile per hour equal to x now if we cross multiply we are going to find x equal to now for this one it's just direct like i said just do it directly so it's 1.609 multiplied by 50 and our answer is 80.45 kilometer per hour so if you want to convert miles per hour into kilometer per hour you just go direct, you just multiply a 1.609 multiplied by that number that you have been given, and automatically you find the answer. Alright, so we get to the uh, other question, which happens to be F, the last question. Now, for F, they are saying we convert from kilometer per hour to meters per second. Okay, now for this one, I'll teach you step by step. So you see, Roman number one. We have been given 50 kilometer per hour like this now the first thing to do you will first of all deal with this kilometer here so this is going to be 50 multiplied by we put a 1000 and meters okay then we say over the hour like that now this is just the same as 50 1000 meters we convert the hour it becomes 3600 therefore we we'll say 50 1 to 350000 divided by 3600 and our final answer will be 15.89 meters per second all right so i'm sure you've seen what's what we've done here now to prove now to prove